Let's continue our little wood effect series here. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a couple of cool embellishments that can really help to sell a piece. I'm gonna use this ice pick. The Dollar Tree actually has these little clay tools with this point on, the, on one end. I have here this piece that I made to look like sort of wood flooring. I've already made the boards. I've already put the base coat and I've already done the golden brown. You'll do those first. Before dry brushing them, I'm just gonna go in throughout randomly in different spaces, punch in a couple of holes with my ice pick or my tool. You could even just use a pencil for this and you'll get those which you don't see very strongly yet, but then I go in and do my dry brush next. I don't want the dry brush paint down in those holes, so that's why I do them just before the dry brushing. And of course, suede for the dry brush. All right, already they start to stand out a little bit. Now I'll go in and do my black wash. Lay on the black wash and let it roll down into all the cracks and nail holes that I just created. Dab off the excess a little bit, very quickly and lightly tapping with paper towel. So you see here some very simple little holes can create that embellishment that really adds to the character of the piece. Another really great and simple embellishment you can add to your wood features are pegged mortise and tenons or timber peg joints. Imagine this is a joint, the framing of a building or whatever. You have these two timbers that are that are joined here. I'm just going to take a couple of round toothpicks. I will just trim off the ends so that I just have these. I'm going to just throw them in some black wash, dry them off on a piece of paper towel, and I will just press them into the foam at that joint and you get that. If you Google pegged mortise and tenon or timber peg joints, you see these on a lot of wooden structures. So adding nail holes and pegged joints are two great ways to really sell the effect of your wood features in your builds. Let me know if you have any questions about that or anything else.